Stevenson Falls to York here tonight at Owings Mills Gymnasium. Glenn Clark with head coach Gary Stewart. Coach, obviously, you know, when you lose a game like this, it's, it's easy to look. I'm sure there's somewhere on the pendulum between effort and just bad results, right? And like, where is it between, you know, doing some of the good things, maybe getting some bad luck with the shots versus not just being happy with what it was that you saw at certain times? Yeah, Glenn, I first credit York. I mean, they, they played uh, a complete game and, and, um, they played with energy. They played with passion and intensity, um, and that's what's required at this time of year. And and um, you know, I take full responsibility. I, do, I don't have my team uh, locked in, and you've got to play your best basketball at this time of year. And, and we're not. The, when you when you shoot two of nineteen from three, when the shots aren't falling, how difficult is it for a team? Because you know, you still need to take the looks when they're open, but. You feel like maybe you need to press and attack. Like, what what is that like when you're going through it as a coach, as you're trying to convey a message to a player, is when shots aren't falling? Well, from a coaching perspective, you live with really quality shots, and if they go in, they go in. If they don't, um, they're the shots you want, um, and the people that are taking them are the people that you want taking them. Uh, we took a lot of shots that were going to get us back in the game. They were they were 12, 13 point shots instead of. Um, having a really, really good possession, and and that um, was to the benefit of York. I mean, we they didn't have to play side to side defensively. They didn't have to uh, rotate. Um, you you have to force people to play multiple sides. And conversely, that's what York did to us. The ball moved. Uh, they moved the, their bodies. Um, and so late in the second half, I would say last really 14, 15 minutes, you saw how spread out we got. And so now there's nobody in the deep hole. There wasn't a help there. Uh, got away from multiple efforts. The will was there, uh, but we got away from execution. So it, it really compounded it. Um, the, the bad shots um, led to some um, tough defensive positions as well. Um, the, you know, obviously this one stings. There's still three games left in the season. What, what do you, you know, how do you get these guys back up off the mat and, and have them ready to go knowing that the opportunity is still in front of them to find their way into the tournament? Well, Glenn, there's no secret that, that we've got some warts. Uh, but again, who doesn't? Um, we continue to try to address those. And it, it's, it's frustrating because there are individuals that um, are, are playing well for us. We just don't have um, everybody locked in, rolling in the same direction. And again, at this time of year, that's what's required. We'll stay after it. We're going to get back at it again and, and uh, do what we do, you know, break down the film. We'll kind of show them uh, things that we can improve on, and we'll certainly get after it tomorrow in terms of working diligently to correct those things. Coach, best of luck as you head back out on the road. Thanks for taking the time as always. Thank you, Glenn. He's Gary Stewart. I'm Glenn Clark. GoMustangSports.com.